Let's see if we can make this work. Oh god! Ha! <laughs> Uh-oh. Get riggedy riggedy wrecked, son! Um, okay. There's nothing quite like the good old-fashioned Syndra jungle versus the Kha'Zix jungle. Now, if, oh, oh, if I were this Kha'Zix, I would be living in my jungle. Like, I mean, I would basically never leave it. Because Kha'Zix should be able to counter jungle the living hell out of me. Um, it is one of those things, though, that similar to other off-meta junglers that you play, eventually in the game, you just become your champion. If you've done well and you get ganks and things like that, you just become a fed syndrome. So that's just what we're aiming for, is just, you know, get the items that I need, get the build going. The main thing about an off-meta jungler is making sure that this first clear goes decently. I didn't really want Soraka to take all those hits, but... So, the main thing about any off-meta jungle is just getting this first clear done. Because this is when you're basically the, the most vulnerable. Um, and Kha'Zix, of course, is going to have a much better clear than I am. But, you know, I do decent damage. My clear isn't awful. <laughs> I can also, one of my most fun things to do is um, when we fight for the Scuttle Crab, being able to pick it up with my W and then like chucking it away is actually great. Cause you can combo, of course, be like chucking it away with your um, W and then throwing your Smite at it and then your Q. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do playing Syndra in the jungle, which I actually really enjoy. And you see, I can kind of kite this thing just a little bit better because I can kind of just chuck it away. There we go. Okay. So we've got our E. Spike Town, thanks for the 30 bits. Thanks for being so generous to the stream. Oh, man. Yeah, Ryuchiya is absolutely incredible. So supportive. Oh, God. Yeah, there he was. Oh god, it's losing its mind. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm dead. Oh, come on with that. That was a really good E from the Seraphine. Can't even really deny it. Did she ignite as well? No, she didn't. Um, okay. That's an unfortunate set of circumstances. Can't really deny that. Um, and I feel like the Kha'Zix is probably going to go immediately to the second Scuttle Crab just to get it. God, you gotta love Kha'Zix damage. It is insanely strong. But, I mean, at least getting the first Scuttle Crab, I'm not horribly behind, so that's kind of okay. I just hate the fact that when I throw the Scuttle Crab, it just has, like, an aneurysm and loses its mind. Was he not on this? He's not. That's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna double scuttle him. Like, <laughs> this thing. Like, stop it, buddy. You're okay. You're all right. <laughs> God, he's juking so well. Okay. So we got the double scuttle. That's pretty good. That gives my team a lot of control to work with. It still sucks that I died. And it also sucks that he was the one who got first blood. Because, you know, nothing quite like a Kha'Zix getting fed in Season 11, am I right? Am I right? I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. So. So 
So I think I'm just gonna maybe clear out this and then maybe the Raptors and then probably go B again because I'm gonna be like out of mana. That is a big problem with playing Syndra in the uh, the jungle is that when you don't have your blue buff, oh, they are on the dragon right now, huh? Nothing we can do about that. Hate that there was nothing I could do there, but I'm not walking into that. I wonder if I might be able to get in here, though, and just counter jungle his grump. So I've got my smite. So I'm going to just try to take this and then go B. I mean, this is still pretty risky. Yeah. Let's just do that. Oh, I wonder if... Let them try to stop. I think the Nar just went to go and ward this, so it might not be worth it. Let's just go B. Let's just, you know, use the gold that we've accrued. We're in a good spot. We're not in a horrible position. They did get the dragon, which sucks, but... I'm feeling okay, 32 to 20. I've just gotta get my ultimate. You know, you get your ultimate, getting the blue buff is gonna be really beneficial, but then I might be able to fight something. And I kinda wanna get a gank off in the bot lane, but like 40 to 24 already with a Swain support is gonna be... That's gonna be a rough one to gank, isn't it? But I do also have the Scuttle Crab coming up. Man, look at how much mana I go through. Okay. So level five. Come here, Scuttle, Scuttle, Scuttle. Whoop. Get rid of that shield. Oh my god! Stop it, Scuttle! Stop it! <laughs> oh my god. It went nuts! Okay, I don't know where the Seraphine went. I'm just gonna go take this. Oh, Kha'Zix is bot. The Dark Harvest stack. Woo! Oh man, so good. So good. Like, that was actually just freaking perfect. Like, we just had all the time in the world to just basically, like, sit bot lane and make that happen. Thank you! Woo! There it was! Okay. So we kind of just kept going back and forth. Then for some reason, the Swain decided to jump in there, but I still had my ultimate up. So that was just a freebie. I will happily accept that donation. Um, I'm actually gonna go for these first. Let's get the boots. Okay, so now I'm gonna clear the top side. Getting the cassocks was awesome. We just kept on chasing, kept on chasing. We got a good stun onto the uh, Samira. And yeah, the, I think Soraka ulted or some of that, so she ended up getting all three assists there, which is pretty damn clutch considering she died early. Um, oh, she didn't die actually. Sorry, she just went back to base. Never mind. Okay, so I'm still scared of this Kha'Zix. I don't know where he is. Oh my god! Why does it always get to one? <laughs> it always just gets to one HP. Let's work with me, buffs. Okay. Ooh. Nice! 
Nice. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna, oh, okay. I think I'm gonna go B just to fill up my mana pool again and then immediately go towards that dragon. Because that is the next objective. And I don't want them to get that for free. Because they've already gotten the first Infernal. And Kha'Zix takes that thing so fast. So, I mean, he could very well be on it right now. But, I mean, getting the Flash of the Seraphine, that's always a good thing. They don't really have much in terms of summoner spells in the bot lane right now. So, that's good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, now there it is. You thought we were out of it, people. And I love how the Kazakhs jumped there, but it really didn't mean anything. Because my ultimate still goes through that. <gasps> Why did it heal? What the fuck? Did anybody else see that? What the hell happened? I got it down to 540. I was so ready for that. And then it just randomly healed. Hold on. I've got to watch that again. What the hell happened? I'm actually kind of tilted by that. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like that thing was down to the exact point of smiting it. And then it randomly gained HP back. I'm so baffled by that. I mean, great steal from the Sabira. Can't deny a good steal, but man, that is fucking ridiculous. I don't even know what happened. This is what I live for. Oh man, okay, well that makes me feel slightly bad as a jungler. Oh, okay, bot lane's showing up though. I am in control. We got this, people. Ow! <laughs> okay, so at least we know where the Kha'Zix is. Man, I could have totally had her. Damn. Would have loved to get a kill there. Uh-oh. Don't reset on me, buddy. Okay. I guess I'm just going to go and take this scuttle crab. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do here. Because I'm now feeling kind of behind because I just kind of failed, you know, like a bunch of ganks all at the same time. And losing that dragon really, really sucks. I mean, nice free little kill. We take those. I mean, my red buff is also up, so maybe I'll just go to the... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go back to base after clearing this guy out. And then probably go to the red side. 
Assuming Isaac didn't already counter jungle with my red. No, he doesn't have a red buff. And Aatrox is just gonna 1v2, huh? That is what it looks like is gonna happen. He's chasing the Nar down. Go, Aatrox, go! Okay. All right, let's go back. So dragon's up in 53 seconds. I need to be ready for that one. Gotta be ready for that dragon. Because if I'm not, they're just gonna get another free dragon. But then again, I had it stolen the last time, so it was kind of free for them then. What are we gonna do? Oh, so it was at 597 HP when it landed? Oh, it didn't heal? I rewatched the dragon fight. It looked like Soraka had aggro, then left to drop the aggro at the... Is that what happened? It looked like it healed up. Like, I thought that it was right at the point where I was smiting it, and then it just didn't work. You have got to be shitting me with that. One HP, man. If I smited him, he was dead. Ugh! We got it. I clipped in, it definitely healed. See, I've gotta go and watch it again. I've gotta go watch it again. It's ridiculous. Because I I swear to God, I got that thing to the exact right HP. But oh well. No use crying over missed smites. Because if that was something that I did, I'd be crying all the time. <laughs> I mean, if Morgana's gonna land a clutch binding like that, it's my duty, nay, my honor, to follow up. <laughs> I will 100% go in on that. Okay, so I mean, we're 4, 1, and 2, so I feel pretty good about how I'm doing, but, you know, there's still the mistakes that I made early on, like the first blood, the dragon steal, but... I feel like, once again, exactly like what I was saying previously is that you get to a point when you're playing an off-meta jungler where it doesn't really feel like you're playing an off-meta, right? Because you just, at some point, very, very soon, I'm just going to be Syndra. I'm just going to be a really, really strong Syndra. So, we're kind of already getting there. I got 1,300 gold. I'm trying to decide. I think I want to go for an early hourglass just to, you know, not get absolutely annihilated by this Kha'Zix. And they've got a ton of AD. Like, they do have a lot of damage that's going to be coming out from the Seraphine and the Swain in terms of AP, but I think i got to be more concerned about just getting assassinated by the, the Duskblade from that Kha'Zix. So, I think that'll probably be a safer bet. Ooh, gotta love that clear with Ludens, though. Okay, so we don't know where the Seraphine went. My Are you a Star Wars fan? I am. That I am. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we can make this work. Oh God! Ha! <laughs> uh oh. Get riggedy riggedy wrecked, son! Oh, I actually.
actually landed that. Damn, I was really hoping something more was going to happen there. Okay. Where are the guys go? I know! He just vanished. He just went... Pop. <laughs> I love it when I get to this stage. Now I'm just an R-Bot. <laughs> so much more fun when you're absolutely fed. Okay. Let's go back and spend the 1300 gold. Because my lordy, I need to spend this stuff. Because that can actually get me my hourglass. Whoa! Now we are large and in charge. So, I mean, we're now 6, 1, and 2. Like... Man, that's insane. For how bad of an early game we had, we have clawed our way back into this game. So this guy's up in one second. I feel like we should just take this. Let's just go straight for this. It's a Cloud Dragon, and you know how badly Syndra wants Cloud Dragons. This means the world to me. Oh, 49 second cooldown on that ult, by the way. Uh oh, ow. Try again for a quarter? <laughs> I mean, he tried. You got Moxie, kid. But you're out of your league! Man, I do so much damage now. We are definitely feeling a little bit more like Syndra. Took a little bit to get here. But now that we're here, I'm feeling fantastic about my life. Okay, so they're currently pushing mid. I don't love. Uh. Oh god. Are we really not gonna get anybody here? Oh, so close. Damn, we're actually not gonna get anybody here. That sucks! Oh god. Please get CC'd. I'm gonna die. Or am I? I mean, we got the Kha'Zix, but the Seraphine killed me. But now if Felios is here, Felios is gonna have enough. That makes me very unhappy. It makes me so unhappy. Oh, but have you met our Aatrox? This should be good. Yay! Okay, I'm a little bit happier now. That makes me that makes me feel a little bit better about it. Okay. Oh, that was a good snare. Ooh! Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. Man, 
man, what are we gonna do about this? So it's 23 to 15. I mean, it's definitely a good game. I mean, I feel like we still win later on. I just need to get a pick. You know, that's the thing. We just need to get that, like, I find the Kazakhs in the jungle or something like that, and then I just obliterate it. Oh, speaking of finding someone in the jungle. Anybody want to come and say hi? Kazix has an edge of night. That's just great, huh? Easily. Oh god. Woo! -hoo -hoo. I'm dead. with that man that sucks I really thought I was gonna have enough there how did I not have enough well, I mean he's got edge of night he's also got the bird that's a big Aphelio salt and here comes the gore drinker from the Aatrox how did that not knock up the uh, Seraphine good question no idea amazing that she fucking gets away with that gnar that's insane how have we not got one? We got one. <laughs> that is so incredibly unfortunate. Okay, I'm alive. Time to go down to the dragon. Because good lordy, I want more cloud dragons. Because I've got a 45 second cooldown on my own. It's kind of nuts. And the jungle lover is dead. Which makes us a lot happier. It makes it a tad bit easier to get this when I don't have to compete with a, another jungler smite. Then again, remember, we did lose that second dragon to the Samira. Not something we like to talk about, but we've got to admit that it happened. We are only human. <laughs> um, okay. Let's take that guy down. Probably just do my clear here. Oh, oops. Ugh, I love doing that. The throw into the Q feels so good. Okay. Like, I'm doing a lot of damage. And this is what I love. Like, the kiting on her is so good. It's so nice when you can just chuck the thing back. Okay. Oh, I missed the cannon. I'm embarrassed. Slightly embarrassed. Okay, I think I might just clear out this wave and then go B. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Okay. Because I've got no mana. Right? Considering I've got absolutely no mana, I feel like it's probably a good time to go B. And we can pick up our Void Staff. So now I'm doing some damage. I'm debating also going for a Rabadon's Death Cap. Because it's fun. <laughs> it's the only reason for it. It does a lot of damage, and I'm just kind of looking to blow up somebody like the Seraphine. She's got no Zonia's Hourglass right now. So she is right for getting ultimated. Because we should just be able to blow her up. Hopefully. Woo! Uh-oh. 
Oh, that was some damage. Ooh. Uh oh. I knew it was coming too. I knew it was coming. And there was nothing I could do about it. I mean, that was a really good NAR play, wasn't it? Oh, and that might be the Baron, huh? I mean, that's problematic. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. It's the Soraka Steel, people. It's what you've all been waiting for. The Soraka. Coming in clutch. With... Potentially with the death. Or is it the Soraka Steel? Never mind. <laughs> it's, it's not, apparently. We hoped. We hoped. So, I mean, this guy's up very, very soon. So, I feel like we gotta just prep for the dragon. Because this will be Cloud Soul for us. This is the objective. I can be so much more. I mean, I really wish Morgana hit her binding there because then he would have been dead. But we just got him insanely low. My God. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not bad, still technically alive. Not entirely sure how, but I am. What distance is that Q? What? <laughs> I felt like I was keeping such a good range from that guy. I was actually so happy with my positioning here. That Q goes so far. I, did that, I think that got buffed, didn't it? That's insane. Insane. I mean, the good thing is that at least we aced them so they don't have a Baron anymore. And I managed to get the Cloud Soul. So, I mean, 10% movement speed increased to an additional 50% movement speed for six seconds after casting your ulti. That's pretty gigantic when it comes to people like Ophelios and Aatrox. Same with Morgana. So getting a gigantic hit of movement speed is going to be pretty good for them. But I still felt like I deserved that 1v1 win over that Swain. I was... I think I got robbed there, people. I really felt like I got robbed. for that pick. Ooh. Oh, 
did that go so far? Later. He's not dead. Gotta admit, the hourglass coming in pretty clutch there. Woo! I'm scared. Okay. Um, what do we do? Um, oh god, yeah, the Kha'Zix is doing a really good job now. Like, I think he finally figured out that, like, he just needs to jump into the back line. And now he's doing a really good job of just kind of, like, waiting in the fight and then jumping in on, like, the Aphelios and the Soraka. But right now, Aatrox and I are doing a pretty decent job of, like, holding the front line. Could very well be going for the Baron at some point. I mean, they could be on it right now. They're not. Fucking get her? What? Dude, I'm so tilted by that. Man! I really, really thought that I had got him there, but it actually doesn't matter because Aatrox is currently absolutely decimating their team. And we might have actually just won this one. I think we did just win this one. Oh my god, why was that such an intense game? Whew. I thought we had such a good play on that uh, Samira when we uh, flashed and got the QE down to stun like three of them. It was good. But we didn't even get, end up getting the kill there. Oh god. GG, well played. God, that was stressful. I mean, I gotta give it over to Aatrox, because that guy ended up just carrying us during that last little bit. Oh, man, that was so stressful. <laughs> um, 7, 5, and 11. We did get an A, which is pretty damn good. And then damage-wise, 36,000 damage. Like, Aatrox beat us by like 10,000, but compared to the Kha'Zix, 25,000. I owe damage him by 11,000 damage, which is pretty damn good. 1,400 damage from Dark Harvest. I mean, all of this was pretty damn good. I mean, I feel, in terms of a mage off-meta jungler, I feel like Syndra's not too bad.